In this video, you'll be learning the algebraic method of balancing chemical equation. So, I'll be walking you through, through some steps you can use the balancing chemical equation using the algebraic method. So, I want to start off with a very simple one. Then, I'm going to walk you through to the word complex one. So, make sure you stay to the end of this video. Okay, so, now let's get started. Okay, now let's start with a simple reaction. Now, let's look at H2 plus what? O2 equals H2O. Now, how can we use the, the, uh, the algebraic method to balance this simple one here? First, you want to do so, what? Assign alphabet to all the species, like assign as alphabet to what? All the species here. Both the reactant and the product. So, how do you do that? So, I can just say here is what? A, B, and what? And C. So, this is what the first step you have to what to do. Assign alphabet to what? To all the species, including what? Reactant and what? Products. So the next step is to write equation for each of the word elements. Now the element present in this reaction is hydrogen or oxygen. So we have to what write equation for each of them. So now let's look at hydrogen here. Now how many hydrogen do we have here? Here we have what, two. So we're going to draw two what a equals two. Here we have what two what c. Then oxygen is what here we have what two what b equals to what here we have one one what which is what c. So, which is what? C. Right? So, after writing the equation for each of these elements, now the next one want to do is to what? To calculate uh, each of the unknown. So, here we have the unknowns are A, B, and what? C. So, how do we do that? So, the first we want to do here is to equate the first unknown to what? To be 1. So, our first unknown is what? A. So, you can now say what? Let's. A equals to what to one. So if my A is equals to one, then I can do what solve what my C and what and my B, right? So the first I can calculate is what C because here we have two A equals to what two C. So here I can say calculating calculating what C. Just what the first one two C equals to what. So the two A equals to what two what C. So of course, two equals to two C, two equals to two. Yeah, then, then so we have what A equals to what C. And my A is already equals to one, then it, it means my C equals to what to one, right? So A equals to one, C is equals to what to one. So the next thing we want to calculate is what is B, right? So how do we calculate B? Now let's solve it here. So here we have two B equals to what to C. And my C is already equals to one, so let's go. 2b equals to what? 1. So making b so the formula divided by what? 2. Here I have what? b equals to what? 1 by what? 2. So here yeah, I've, calculated, I've calculated what each of the unknown. a is what? 1. b is what? 1 by 2. c is what? 1. So the next thing I have to do is so what? Substitute all, all my unknown calculated into what the equation is. Yeah, remember, a h2 plus b o2 give us c h2, right? So let me write this place up. So, what, what am I going to do here? So, remember my A is already equal to what? 1, right? Then my B is already equal to what? 1 over what? 2. My C is already my C is already equal to what? To 1. So, what I have to do here is to what? Equate each of them put what? The equation. So, how do I do that? So, if I should, put, if I should replace one here, here yeah, I what? H2 plus my B is already half, so here we have half O2. Give you what H2O. You get so this is the balance equation, but here we have fraction, so we have to convert fraction to what to linear. How do we do that? It's multiplied through by the LCM. So here we have this guy here as the as denominator. So the SCM is going to be what two. So I'm going to multiply here by what by two, like multiply the whole equation what by two. Now probably some equation can actually leave this in here, but it's proper to always convert your your um, fraction to what to linear by multiplying by what LCM. So if you multiply by LCM, two times this year you have two H two plus two times this year you have O two. Give what two H two O. Now you can see that the equation is already balanced. We have four hydrogen, four hydrogen, hydrogen, two oxygen, two oxygen. Right. So this is now what the balance chemical works. So we are going to we are going to do on that one here for that for proper understanding. Now, if you have been asked to what balance 
this equation using the algebraic method. How are you going to do that? So now, now let me explain to you. So remember, the first you have to store assign or no to to this equation here, right? Now I like using a, b, c, but you can decide to use any one you want to use. Now you can decide to use x, y, and z, but I, I love using a, b, and c. Now, so let's assign alphabets. Yeah, it's okay. How many elements do we have here? We have just two elements. We are aluminium and what oxygen. So we have to what write equation for both of them. So here we have a, l, and what o. Now, yeah, aluminium is having one. Here we have only what one aluminium equals to. How many elements do we have here? Here we have two. Two what c. Right. The next thing is oxygen. How many oxygen do we have here? Here we have what two what oxygen. So it's going to be two what b. Now, how many of us do you have here? You have to put the word 3 what C. So, uh, so it means that I'm going to find A, B, and what C, right? So, the first you want to do to calculate the unknown, but first you equate the first unknown to one, which is what A. So, you can now say, let A equals to what? So, one. But when I have already calculated what my first word unknown. So, next you will calculate what my C, because I can only calculate C because C is related to, to A, right? Now, I, I can't calculate my B because there's no way I can, I can calculate two, two or no at the same time. So, I can't calculate my C because I already will, will know what my A. So, yeah, I can say calculating, let me go with here. Calculating C. Oh, now, so it's going to be A equals to what? Two or C. Again, but my A is already equal to one. So, it's going to be A, which is one equals to what? Two or C. Making C is sort of a formula here. Yeah, I have C equals to one by what? Two. That is it. So my a is equal to one, my c is equal to half. So the next thing is to work, calculate what, calculate what b. So calculating, calculating what b, right? Now if you want to calculate b, here we have two b equals to what, two what c. Here my my c is already equal to half. So I have to work one here. So we're going to be two b equals to three times what one over what two. Now if you should cross cross multiply. Yeah, I have two b equals to what three over what two, right? So here we're going to be four b equals to what three, right? So divide both side, divide both side by what four. Here we have this guy here. So it means that my b is equals to what three over what four. You get that? So I already done all my calculation now. So remember, my a is what one. My b is equals to what. 3 over what 4, my c is equal to what 1 over what 2. So, what I have to do here is to what substitute this into what the equation here. So, it's going to be what a l plus here we have uh, 3 over what 4 o 2. Here we have 1 over 2 a l 2 o 3. Now, this is the balance equation, right? But now, what we want to do here is to what convert fraction to linear, and um, we have two denominator here, four and what two. The LCM between four and two is what four. So I'm going to multiply it by what four. If I should multiply it by four, I'm going to have four a a plus. Here we have three o two. Give me what two a a two o what three. So you can see that the equation is what is balanced, right? 4 aluminium, 4 aluminium, 6 oxygen, 6 oxygen, right? So this is what to do. It. So these are just simple uh, equations that are what is what balance. Now let's dive into some complex ones that, that can actually give us a little tough that you want to have more than two what elements. So now let's balance those ones before we end this video. Now, this one is a little bit complex, right? It's a little bit complex, but if you should follow um, uh, the method that we have actually done here, you should be able to, to balance this equation. It's, it, uh, it's not difficult, you have to learn step by step. You can easily work balance it. So, the first one to do is to work, assign uh, alphabet to all the species. So, here we have. So this is what we have. So how many elements do we have here? Here we have hydrogen, 
right? Here we have what? Phosphorus. Here we have what? Oxygen. Here we have what? Sodium. Here we have carbon, right? Hydrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, uh, sodium, what? Carbon. So I'm going to do that. Now let's take one step by step. Now let's take one step by step. So the first one here, hydrogen here is three. Three, three times here, here we have three words A. There's no hydrogen here again, so move to the other side. Equals two. Now we don't have hydrogen here, we don't have hydrogen here, but we have, have hydrogen, hydrogen here. I mean, we have your two. So we're still going to be two words E. Right? The next is what? Phosphorus. Here we have phosphorus. How many phosphorus do we have here? One. So we're going to be what? A. Because one times A is what? A. We don't have So the next is what? C. So here we have what? C because we have one here, right? Now, next is what? Oxygen. How many oxygen do we have here? Four. 4a but here we also have oxygen so it will be plus plus two of the what reactant and reactant plus how many oxygen you have here three so it will be three what b right equals to here i have oxygen how many oxygen you have here four four c plus how many oxygen you have here two two what d plus e right the next is what so sodium here we have sodium here we have what two what b here we have what equals to what? Uh, 3 what? C. And next we have here is carbon. Carbon. How many carbon do we have here? Here we have what? 1. So we're going to go uh, B. Here we're going to be what? Equals to what? D. So you can see that here is having uh, what? Much what? Element. So now the element I'm going to calculate now is what? A, B, C, D, E, right? E. So what, what I want to do here is to what equate my first unknown to one. So let a equals to what to one, right? A is equals to what to one. Now how do I calculate what my so if a three a equals to what two e, I can easily calculate what my e here, right? So because uh a three a equals to what two e, so here I can see what three a equals to what two what e. Right, so if I should put in my, my one here, yeah, I'm going to have three times one equals to what two what e, right? Making e the same formula, yeah, I have e equals to what three over what two. It's okay. Now I'm just trying to. So the next is what a equals to what c, and a is equals to one. Definitely, my c is going to be what one here. So I've got to what my a my e i want my c so i want to this one here right then i want to what e i want to what my c what is left what b and what d right remember here we have b what's what d so if i can calculate what my my um uh, my b i want to what, what my my d so how do you do that so here we can use this guy here 2b what's what 3c so here we have 2b what's what 3 what c Right? So remember my C is already equal to 1, right? So it's going to be 2B equals to what? 3, 1. Right? Now, making the B the sort of formula, here we have divided by what? 2, 2. Here we have B equals to what? 3 over what? 2. Right? So already B is equal to what? D. So D automatically is already what? 3 over what? 2. Right? So with this now, we are done with all the calculations. So I've done with, uh, I'm done with all the other. So let me write this place here. So I can what it was subtil what our value into the what the equation, each of the equation here. Right? So now let's plug in our values now. Balance chemical what, equation. So you can actually check it if it's balanced, right? How many hydrogen do you have here? Here we have six. How many hydrogen do you have here? I have six. How many phosphor do you have here? Have two. You have two. Now let's look at sodium. How many sodium do you have here? Six. 
here we have what six, right? How many carbon do I have here? Three. Here we have three. So it's balanced. So oxygen is also what balanced. So these are the what use the algebraic method to what balance uh uh chemical what, equation method. So I advise you what to study it. Now go through the video again. If you if you love the video, you got value from this video and this video will really help you. Please hit the like button. Please just like uh, just like this video. Then hit the subscribe button so that you are not going to miss at any video I'm going to drop because I'm going to drop some some key relevant videos you can actually what use to master your chemistry.